This is really a stars are just like us. Beyonce, right before a concert, pulls up in her Hummer and a bunch of limos follow and goes to Target and is running around in Target looking at stuff. And people are like, whoa, Whoa. when did the diva become the recessionista? (laughs) You know, and she's just having a grand old time in Target. People are yelling at her, we love you, Beyonce. She's like, I love you, too. Some girl said she saw her in one of the aisles doing hula hoop. She had a hula hoop out. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. The thing is, she went really late at night, about 9 o'clock, when, you know, it's not that busy yeah. there. Because she wants to to go be like regular people every once in a while. I'm sure she misses being able to go to the grocery store and going to Target. I'll bet you start craving normal mm-hmm. experiences when you're Beyonce and Jay-Z. I wish somebody would tell us what she bought. Yes. You know somebody's got the scoop on that. Well, she was trying on hats. Well, yeah, they have a wonderful hat collection. Do they? And it's on sale, summer clearance. <laughs> Do you think she has a Target card where you save like 5%? She should. Let me tell you the secret about Target. Oh you can get the credit card and it <laughs> saves you 5%, but the wow. limit is only $500. And that's for everybody, even me. And I'm rich. Uh-huh. So I went. <laughs> I got, yeah. I was horrified when they only gave me a horrified. $500 limit. It was insulting. So what I did was I got the Target debit card, which still gives you 5% oh, savings, God. but it comes directly out of your checking account. Uh-huh. And if you take a reusable bag, they'll give you a nickel for every bag you bring in. A nickel. Yes. It adds up. You're rich and you're also crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Another celebrity who's just like us. This time it's a hometown hero, Dave Matthews. So this is kind of a cool story. He was going for a bike ride before his performance in Hershey, Pennsylvania, uh, when he gets a flat tire, right? Okay. He doesn't have a cell phone. So he ends up hitching a ride with fans that are going to his concert. What? That's pretty good. And I love that Dave Matthews still lives in the mid-90s because he doesn't carry a cell phone. I know. <laughs> Is he looking for a payphone to call somebody? I think he's just like a true Seattleite, a true hippie. Like, I feel like that stuff happens around here all the time. You know his bike was like fixed geared bike, right? Because that's what hipsters ride. <laughs> and I bet he had a fanny pack and he opened it and he had like some cappuccino grounds. And then one pocket was just for compost. Yeah. Because you always have to have that available to you at any point. <laughs> so if you got to see any famous person on the side of the road broken down and you got to pick them up, who would you want it to be? I pick up hitchhikers all the time. What? Yeah. Are you serious? Yeah, like sometimes you drive down the street and there's like a lovely lady in high heels and a short skirt and she needs a ride <laughs> That's somewhere. Not a dude. And then at the end of the ride she asks you for yeah. money and you're and like, what are you talking the about? The things that they do for the ride, I'm like, whoa! <laughs> This is a deal. 